Recycling, recycling time. time! Let's collect, clean and store some plastic. Am I good? Am I in focus? Am I beautiful? Um, yep, yep, no. <laughs> As a follow-up from our last HGP video, we wanted to show you guys where we actually source our plastic from and then what we do with it once we have it. So first off, let's talk about collecting plastic. So obviously we collect plastic ourselves and we've asked our friends and family to do the same for us. But as we start designing bigger and bigger things out of HDPE, we're finding that we're getting through a lot of lids. So what we've done is we've contacted some local office buildings as well as some coffee shops nearby and we've asked them to save their milk tops for us. This has helped us boost our collection really quickly, but it does present another problem, and that's how you clean all of this plastic. By far the easiest thing to do is to clean and dry your plastic as you go, but if you are getting other people to collect it for you, and you're getting quite a large quantity, there's a good chance they're not going to sit there and wash every single lid. And it's probably pretty cheeky to ask them to do so. Cleaning is really important because if the plastic has any contaminants in the mix, it might not bond very well together when you heat it up. If your plastic has any labels on it, you're going to have to peel these off by hand and make sure there's no sticky residue left on the surface. The quickest and easiest way we've found is to use these mesh bags... <laughs> is to use these me... It's not the first one you nail in my face. <laughs> Sorry! You were... <laughs> is to use these mesh bags, which you can fill up with plastic and chuck in your washing machine. Hmm. Usually a rinse cycle will work just fine, but if you do have something that's really stubborn, drop in a little bit of detergent on a low temperature wash and that will get rid of any extra dirt. But if you do use detergent, be sure to give that a quick rinse at the end just to make sure there's none left on the plastic. So once you have your plastic clean and ready to use, we need to think about how we're going to store it. We like to store our plastic by colour because it's easy to pick and choose the plastic that we want for the project that we're making. And as we're trying to think sustainably about our material choices, we wanted to try and avoid buying any type of new plastic just to store our HDPE in. We try and avoid using single-use plastic as much as we possibly can, so these bottles were collected by friends and family. These work perfectly and they're completely transparent so you can see all of the colours that you've got left in stock. It's a nice way to reuse plastic that could potentially end up in landfill and it doesn't create a demand for new plastic products. Don't forget to check those lids because they could be HDP as well. Remember you're looking for the number two within the recycling logo. If you want more information on identifying HDPE, check out our beginner's guide, we'll pop a link in the description. So we bought some plywood from our local home centre, and when you buy large wooden sheets like this, they'll throw in at least a couple of free cuts. Our two litre bottles are 100mm in diameter, so we got the home centre to cut the wood into 120mm strips for the shelves. So once you've got your strips of plywood, all you have to do is cut these to length. So there's a number of ways to cut these, you could use a panel saw, a jigsaw, or if you have one, you could use your table saw with a crosscut sled. And you might have noticed that some of our shelves are actually a little bit bowed, but that's not a problem because we're using some of these additional support pieces to keep them nice and flat, and we're also adding some vertical uprights just to prevent any additional bowing. Last thing to do is to screw the rack to the wall and we use those supporting strips to screw straight through to keep it nice and secure. So when making this storage rack we made sure that every shelf was exactly the same height and this was 270mm. Now we need to cut the bottles to the right height so they fit nice and neatly on the shelf and we want to make sure we minimise that gap so that no dust and dirt gets into the nice clean lids. So we made a quick jig where we screwed a cutting blade to a block of wood set at 265mm, span the bottles round and cut the tops off. Mm -hmm. 
Using the jig keeps the bottles at a consistent height, making them look really nice and neat on that shelf. So there you go. Thanks so much. I've got a tear coming down. I'm emotional that the video is over. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any of your own tips, we'd love to hear from you. So drop a comment below. If you enjoyed the video and want to help support us a little bit further in making these types of videos, then consider supporting us on Patreon. We've got lots of different types of tiers and lots of different types of rewards. Also, we've got some new merchandise available. So check out the merch shelf below. We'll also put a link in the description for you. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>